All right, what's up, everybody? Uh, real quick, I had some requests on how to make the door work. Uh, they couldn't get it working for. Oh, where am I? They couldn't get it working for them. So ignore every tutorial I had up to this point about the doors, because this one is going to be the most, oh, the most simple uh, way to do it. So first things first, bring in your door or use the one already in the game. But if you'll notice, if you're using the one that's already brought into the game, let me. Okay, my computer's muted. Uh, bringing one audience to the game that it uh, has no collision you can walk right through it so before we start what we're doing we're gonna go back over here double click on the door you click on collision you'll see it has none so go over here to this tab that says collision and drop down and say auto convex collision and hit apply and there you go the door has some collision so if we minimize this and we go back into the game we can no longer walk through the door it's really that simple so Next, we're going to make the door open. So we're going to click on the door. I'm going to say add matinee. Uh, I'm going to drop and re de click the door. I'm going to do that. Click on the door. Hit add new folder. Doesn't matter what you name it. And then add movement track. All right. Uh, first things first, we're going to make sure snap is turned on. And we're going to lower this to two seconds. And we're going to extend this to once two seconds. Okay. And the first position, we're going to add hotkey. And then at one second, we're going to come over here. Oop, geez. One second. We're going to come over here and we're going to open this by 40 degrees. Then we're going to add a hot key. Then we're going to bring it to two seconds. We're going to add about 50 degrees. That's 90. So that the door is completely open. And add a key. Uh, if I knew how to do this without matinee, I would, but this is the only way I can get this to work. So I apologize. You're going to have to do this for every door that you want to make work. It's actually not that lot, not a lot of work. So, you know. Don't be mad. Okay, so uh, just a little tip. Make sure you always bring the corresponding matinee icon above the door. That way you know where it is and which door it affects. Okay, so effect, next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring a box trigger over here. It's in basic box trigger. I'm going to bring a box trigger into the world. Uh, and we're going to make sure that we can access this door from both sides. So we're going to extend this a bit like this. And then... Oh, that's thunder. It's going to rain soon. Uh, like that. Alright, so now with the box trigger selected, we're going to go into the level blueprints. And then we're going to call reference to collision. Add begin overlap with the box trigger. Collision end overlap with the box trigger. Uh, we're going to call, just press E and then hit enter. I like E as an interactive key. It's just what I like. Uh, and then we're going to type gamepad, not pad top this would be the triangle button on the PS controller and the Y button on the Xbox controller because uh, you want to make sure your game is you know controller compatible so you're gonna right click again and you're gonna type gate okay and so basically what this is saying is if E is pressed or triangle or Y is pressed while you're standing inside of the gate and not outside of the gate then let's grab the uh, matinee you're gonna right click and just type play Okay, and uh, right click again and type reverse. Okay, so we're gonna move those, move it here, move it here. Um, pull this out and type flip flop. So it's gonna go between the two and make sure that the opening animation play is A and the reverse animation is B. So basically, whenever you press E or Y or, tr or triangle, it's going to go back and forth between these two animations as long as you're standing inside of Box Trigger 3 and not outside of it. That's it. <laughs> All that work I had before, ignore it. This is the most simple open and close way to make a door work that I know of. So we're going to minimize this. We're going to hit play. Yes. And that's that. Let's come over here. And uh, we hit the door. That's it. Door opens. We hit E again. Door closes. If you have any questions, let me know. That is as simple as get. We still have this glitch, but I don't mind it. It hasn't really bothered me. Uh, the door goes through you, but you're fine. It still blocks you. Yeah. If you try and move while it's happening, though, it'll kick you out of the animation. Uh, let's real quick open up this and take a look at the debug while it's happening. Hit play. Where's the door? There's the door. Okay, so when I step into the door's frame, the gate is open. Hit E, the door opens. We hit E again, it flips to the other one and closes. 
E, open, close, open, close. That's it. It's as simple as that. So uh, I'm going to let you guys look at this for a second. Uh, someone asked me to put this up for a download so they could take a look at it themselves. I mean, it doesn't really seem like you'd need to. It's really simple, but I will try and put it up on 4Shared uh, as a free download so you guys can open up this. This is in 4.4, but this method should work for any version of Unreal. Uh, I will try and put it up in 4Shared. I've never actually uploaded anything there before. So I'll put it up there and you guys can take a look at it. Uh, this is the blueprint and it's as simple as that. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Remember to check out my other videos because I primarily do gaming, but I might get more into uh, Unreal tutorials. Although I'm, I'm, I'm not certainly super skilled in this. <laughs> but uh, thanks for watching. I'm Jim Dre and I hope you enjoyed this. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed yourself, leave a like. If you hated it, leave a dislike. And if you want to check out more, hit the subscribe button and come check out my channel. See ya!